If you guys are watching this on my Golden State Warriors number one fan channel, FHRC Brony, Ready Control and Cars, or MLP Projects and Music, it really doesn't matter what channel you're watching this. And if you guys, are, if some of you commenters are saying that, oh, uh, this this guy is copying whoever this guy made on the, on that other channel, don't worry. That's you're, no one's. I'm not copying anything. That's literally just me. I I run three channels, so don't worry about that. Um, so I'm here to actually talk about this whole trend that's going on on the internet for quite some time. Um, no, scratch that. Uh, this thing has been going on recently. And uh, normally I was not going to be talking about this, but uh, the internet has been virally talking about this. And I couldn't say no to talk uh, when it comes to talking about this. When there's some serious note, I, I'm very concerned on what's going on. And, uh, you know, safety is really bad. Is a really a concern here, especially not just on, not just like, you know, when you're driving a car or, you know, outside in the world. It could be anything. It could be in the internet. It could be just, you You could cause, uh, there could be harmful things that you can do in, even if you're un, inside your house. No matter if it's mentally or physically. Or people or other people hacking into your system to get all your personal information. The In today's world, everything is like a, a threat, okay? Basically. And, uh, we must constantly fight it. So, what's the video? What's the video to, uh, today? If you guys have been knowing about this viral challenge, um, the Momo challenge, and I know for you, for those of you car people who are watching on this, uh, watching this video, I am not talking about the Momo that we that sells aftermarket parts for a car. I am not talking about that. I am talking about this. Weird ass looking doll looking thing that has a bird body with a woman head with bulging eyes and a V shaped mouth. What the freaking hell is this? I first checked this out. Um, uh, what the history of the Momo meme is? It came back in around 2018. So yeah, it's, it's not it's not really much of an old thing, but you know it's 20. It's, it was 2018. Now it's 2019. But anyways. Uh, it was a meme that found in 20, 2018, and the history about it, it was actually some, if I'm not mistaken, it was like some Japanese artist that made this, and they made this puppet-like bird and woman with big eyes and a bulging, with a big-ass mouth um, in an art museum in Japan. If I, I'm not too sure if that's in Japan or what, but if, based on what I read, it said it, it came from there. And it instantly spread across the globe and um, I'm like, uh, when I first saw it, I was freaking out when I saw it. I got scared, okay? I, I'm 18 years old, okay? I'm almost an adult. Even a grown-ass adult is already getting, was freaking out over this thing. And this is not just going through kids. Speaking of kids, I'll go, I'll go over that in a bit. Um... And when I saw this, it's like, okay, it's just a 2018 meme that just to scare people. Okay, it's no big deal. And okay, so it kind of died off uh, towards the Christmas, uh, around the Christmas area of 2018, or so, somewhere between Thanksgiving month and the Christmas month, November and December. And it, after that, I thought everything was okay. And there's no stupid meme that's going out. And here we are in 2019, somewhere in February, we have uh, another challenge. And this is where I'm going to talk about the kids thing. The Momo challenge, okay? The Momo challenge. I did not go in, in great detail about this um, when I saw these on videos. But basically from what I've heard, because just yeah. right here, just for, he just for hearing these words, I heard this on, on a video on YouTube. Just hearing these words, the Momo challenge is basically a challenge that encourages their kids to kill themselves, to cause self-harm, cutting themselves, shooting themselves, killing themselves, and what? What the hell is this bullshit? Why are, why is this happening? Okay, why is this stupid thing happening? And, um, I didn't, at first, I did not hear about this until my dad went into my room because I was going to, I was getting ready for school. 
Okay, my dad knocked into the, knocked into the door and uh, told and talked to me about this this trend about and he was asking me do do I know Momo and I and I said yes I do uh, and I and he said oh, okay I, I, he knows that I'm I'm not talking about the car brand he that's what he's saying he, he's not talking about the the aftermarket car brand but uh, I I knew I already knew what he was talking about though it's this you know this puppet looking thing and I said yes. I heard of this Momo, I heard of this Momo meme, and he's saying that this is going, there's some trend that's going on where kids are inflicting self-harm, okay? And he's telling me to, you better watch what you're watching. And I, I was scared when I heard this, okay? No, when you think of a normal grown-ass adult thing, you know, they're, they're pretty much used to, you know, stuff like this, but this thing is, is taking the life out of kids. And if they tell their parents, if the kids tell their parents that this is happening, Momo is going to be out there to kill you. What am I? Oh, what is this? What is, what is this? Is now, is, is social media now becoming an insane asylum? Is, is, is YouTube and Facebook, Twitter or whatever becoming a, a place where people can kill each other? Cause self-harm, put other people's life in jeopardy. Oh, this, the world today is not how the world it was before, even at least in the early 2000s, because from what I remember, especially from growing up, back in the early 2000s, everybody were not dicks. Everybody were like, you know, pretty chill and they're all cool about it. Everybody was, make, was making friends and stuff like that. Yes, I was a kid. But even even a kid like myself have the good knowledge in saying that hey everybody everybody is all cool in here. Yes, we did have crime, but that was pretty much it. We didn't have any crazy looking weird trends going on and stupid challenges like the Tide Pod challenge and the Momo challenge. And by the way, I'll talk, I'll be talking about the Tide Pod challenge in a bit. And. Uh, uh, and now here we are after 2010, okay, 2010 is, uh, it's okay, but after 2015, we have, we have these stupid things like Tide Pod Challenge, and I don't, I don't even know a lot about the Tide Pod Challenge, but based on videos and what I've seen about it, why are, I think they're eating it or something, they're probably eating Tide Pods, why would you eat laundry detergent? Why? Why would you eat things that's meant for cleaning your clothes? That is just plain ridiculous. And now here we are in 2018, 2019. Now we have this fuck... <sighs> Pardon my French, but we need to hear this fucking... Um, Momo challenge where... Um, where... Where encourages kids to kill themselves? What the hell is this? Encouraging children to cause self-harm. Thank God the mom that that found this out posted this on social media because otherwise children are going to be following whatever this is happening. Kids, okay, honestly, kids don't have the, the knowledge as te most teenagers and adults have, okay? M teenagers and adults n are mature enough that this shouldn't be happening. Kids don't have that, okay? My, uh, I have a cousin who's only like four or five years old. She doesn't know this thing. And, uh, she is watching, she's constantly watching a lot of YouTube kids, okay? And I, we're all cool about that, okay? There's nothing wrong about that. It's okay. But, kids don't have the, a lot of kids don't have the common sense that teenage, most teenagers and adults do. And, um, and, it's, and it's their parents, and as the parent, it is their job to provide common knowledge to the, chi to the child, okay? Because otherwise, the child may grow as a really terrible child in the future. And you do not want that. And, and that's why we get people who commit crimes. It's is because they were not treated well as a child or or they were just really bad they were just really bad children from from during their young ages 
and uh, now they're blaming. Uh, as a parent, okay, let's put it this way: if I were a parent having my own child, as a parent, you gotta be watching what your child is watching, okay? Even video games. I've seen, uh, there are plenty of children out there today playing M-rated games. Call of Duty, Halo, um, plenty of games out there that are being played, that children are playing, that, ha that involves cussing, um, blood and gore, blood, you know, all that stuff. Yeah, those are happening. And, um, and there's a reason why video game manufacturers are doing this. There's a reason why video game manufacturers are putting ratings on their games because uh, it's because that this video game is suitable for this kind of audience. So is with movies. There's a reason why they put rated R. Or, or, there's a reason why they put rated PG-13 because this this kind of movie is going to be targeted towards these kind of R, these kind of audience. So for video games, for example, oops, here's an example. Forza Motorsport 7, rating right here, ready E for everyone, meaning this this game is is targeted towards anybody. It could be it could be kids, it could be adults, it could be teenagers. Because why? Forza Motorsport 7 is a racing game. Do you see any blood and gore here that may, makes it M for mature? No. Even though in real life, uh, in in real life racing, you could put your life in danger when you when you screw up at a turn. Or crash into and crash into a wall. Racing. I mean, even though this is rated E, sometimes in racing, uh, in real life racing, it's going to be dangerous because you know you're going really fast around a track, and if if you screw up, you're gonna either crash into a wall in and probably kill yourself, or you will probably uh, get seriously injured and so on and so forth. But in a video game, the good thing that this is rated E because, you know, uh, you can't really do any of that crap in real life. I mean, you you crash your car at 200 miles an hour into a wall and still survive. That's not really possible. In re that's not possible in real life. But when, when, okay, when, if you ever play this game before or um, a Forza Horizon, uh, you it would always say before the video before the game starts it would say some of the actions depicted here in gameplay is potentially dangerous in the real world they put it there because they they mean it because if you drive a car in real life and you do that same thing in a video game and if you and you crash into a wall at 200 miles an hour or whatever high speed you're going you are going to kill yourself you're gonna cause an accident. And that's why people like uh, who made Forza Motorsport, Gran Turismo, or whatever, whatever racing game, they put that that information there because they need they need to tell people that hey, some of these things are that are depicted in, depicted in gameplay is gonna be dangerous in the real world. So don't be stupid and treat your car like you're tri driving it in a video game. So that's basically what I'm trying to say here. Um, it's like the parents should tell their child that hey, you should not be doing, you should not be watching this because otherwise, this is you're gonna be copying this thing. Same thing in in racing games like Forza Motorsport. That's why they put it, they put that information there that uh, the video just because uh, just because you can crash you can crash a car two thousand uh, two hundred miles an hour into a wall and not die doesn't mean it's gonna work in real life. No, it doesn't work that way. So do. As a, as a parent, treat your child, monitor your child that this is happening. You They should better watch whatever the hell they're watching on YouTube, okay? Because otherwise, this whole society is going down to pieces, all right? I do apologize for my rant. I, I do apologize for raising my voice here, but this thing is going on. And I kind of have to let this thing go. Um, with, you know, some frustration because this generation is now a pile of shit. I'm going to say that straight up, honestly. It, this world today is now a pile of shit. 
Everybody is being jerks today. Um, crime rates are going high. Terrorist, terrorism is a thing. Even though it's been around since 2001 or before. This world today is going to be a, a living hellhole. I do not want just America. I also don't want any other country out there in the world to become Nazi Germany. Okay? Because... The society is just going crap. We have... I don't know these days, guys. The whole mo... I'm sorry about that, guys. My camera stopped and... Uh... But anyways, uh, um, this whole Momo challenge, guys, beware about this because if you have children who are watching stuff, who are watching non-harmless -har videos and suddenly this thing's happening and it's encouraging kids to kill themselves, they, this whole, this Momo thing telling kids that, hey, you should be doing this challenge because otherwise I will be coming there to kill you. Don't fall for it. I have many people who said who were threatening to kill me. I had, I had many people, not just on YouTube, that tell me that they're gonna kill me, okay, before. It's no surprise to me. And I said, okay, whatever. And guess what? They said they're going to come here at this certain amount of time, this certain time, to kill me. Because they know where I live. Guess what? That date and time happened. That didn't even happen. At all. People like them, like whoever created the Momo Challenge, who are threatening kids that they're going to kill, that they're going to kill the kid. Even though... Um, uh, for some, just for not following the rules, if Momo s says that they're gonna kill, quote unquote, kill, kill the child, the child, just because the child did not follow the instructions in that uh, challenge, she's not really out to kill you. Because I know they're just doing that to scare people. But even that, even though it's fake or not, be warned, parents. Watch what your child is watching. Because you do not want to put your child in jeopardy. You do not want to put their lives. You do not. Uh, let's put it this way. You do not want their lives to be put in jeopardy at all. You don't. They have a life to come in. This, this thing needs to stop. This trend... Uh, People think, of, many people today think of stupid stuff today. No wonder everybody is being stupid out there. That's why I feel uncomfortable going out there, going to school. I mean, I do want to go to college. And that's actually the first time I ever said that I, I actually like going to school. Because I go to an automotive, I, I go to college to work on automotive. That's something that I do. But honestly, at the same time, I kind of don't want to go to school because there's crazy people out there. It's like this world's in the, this world's like a battlefield already. If I was a marine right now or a guy with with a you know with a gun to protect myself, I kind of I kind of need my gun to protect myself because uh, people these crazy people are gonna be out to kill me. Because, hey, little psychopath, I'm gonna kill you. Come here, mother, motherfucker. And here I am with a gun just to protect myself. And now I'm, the, now I'm, I'm here at the blame. I'm here, I'm here blame, being blamed that, hey, I pointed that gun at them because, you know, just for me to protect myself because this guy was about to kill me. Society today is like, are lacking common sense. And I'm, honestly, I do have to admit I do apologize this, but I'm also part of it sometimes. Because sometimes there are things that I kind of lack common sense. But uh, I do do my very best to improve myself in, in my life. Because I'm not going to be 18 forever, obviously. I'm not going to be a kid anymore. Obviously, I'm not. I'm going to be one grown-ass adult. Uh, I'm going to be 21 soon. Okay? 
and and now even adults and teenagers today are acting like five-year-olds. Feminism and uh, liberals and whatever. It's it could be not just politics. It could be anybody in the world. People today, even grown-ass adults, act like five-year-olds. What can you do? Absolutely nothing. You can do. You can't do. You can't do anything about it. But other than just let it go and let and move on with your life. And that's why I kind of I respect the OGs, the non millennials, because the non millennials out there, because they they know common sense. Most millennials today, the cuckoo. Screw these, whoever, screw those kind of people. I respect the OGs and and the millenni and the millennials who have who have um, good uh, good common sense and knowledge, because these crazy ass motherfuckers out here are now encouraging children to conflict self harm, and also before that, Tide Pod challenge, eating laundry detergent, laundry soap. What? Screw these kind of people. Screw them. I have nothing against challenges. Challenges. I really don't. The ALS Ice Bucket Challenge? Yeah, you guys probably forgot about that now. I don't. The Ice Bucket Challenge? There's the Running Man Challenge. I mean, that's a really good dance. Uh, I've seen people doing that dance. I mean, that's, I mean, the Running Man Challenge is kind of stupid, but hey, I mean, that's not even harmful at all. I mean, at least there's, at least people are dancing to that. And other trends like the Fortnite dances. Personally, people like a lot of people really do hate Fortnite and have a lot of things against it. Even though I don't play Fortnite, I, I don't have anything against it. I actually find the game is pretty good. Um, oh, and people talk about their dance moves are being stupid. Yet alone, these kids are doing this and you know doing these dance moves. You know, hey, dancing is you know part. Of, it's like a really good exercise. A lot of people are doing it anyway, so I encourage that. I encourage that. And. Uh, but basically, these whole these new trends now, these stupid trends like the Momo and the Tide Pod challenge, makes me kind of want to stay in my house even more. I do I do not want to go out there just to see people doing this stupid crap or even uh, stupid people in general because people people today are like uh, are like um, a virus, and um, I it feels like I do not want to go outside because if I if I step foot out my house. It's going to be a big battlefield of, stu of stupidity. So, be warned, everybody. This Momo challenge, um, watch whatever your kids are, are watching. Sorry, this is a long video of me rambling about this, but I just need to let it out just to spread out awareness for people because this thing is, is just screwed up, and I will not tolerate this, and I will not let this fly without saying anything about it because... As an American, as somebody who has the who has the right to of speech, the, the my First Amendment. Okay, I have I have my right to speak my word out, no matter what it is. Okay, I kind of want I kind of want to let that out, but basically what I'm trying to say is, I have as a human being, I have my full right to say something about this. Okay, as long as I have. If I'm seeing things, any sort of evidence uh, to back this up, and my evidence is videos I'm 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 seeing on YouTube and also on Facebook. This has been going around everywhere, and this is one of the great things having the internet is it, it once it, once something big something small happens, it can spread virally. Yeah, it will happen. Some stupid thing that you guys may do will spread out real fast. It's like a virus. You do not want to be in that pit at all. So, parents, treat your child with all care as possible. And uh, monitor your kids on what they watch, all right? Because this is getting ridiculous. And like I said, I will not let this fly without saying anything about it. And, um... Until then, peace out.
Sorry for my rant. Sorry for my yelling. But I need to let it out. I need, I need to let it out. So, was there anything um, else to say? Not really. But I encourage you all. I encourage all of you guys to have a great day.